I'm Aaron Davidson. On this week's long range do it yourself tip, we're going to talk about the G7 ballistics program. Specifically, we're going to look at a situation where we want to take calculated ballistics data to the field. And I'm going to show you a little feature that we've built in that makes a really small, simple drop chart a field card, let's say, that you can take to the field. You can paste it on your stock. First thing you need to do is go to g7.com and log in or sign up for an account that allows you to save and store all of your data, all your ballistics data. And I've got a couple uh, uh, different profiles here. We're going to go ahead and pick a new profile so I don't change any of the data from my existing profiles. We go to this configure load data section and we're also going to look at the configure environmental data and siding data sections as well. Those three sections are going to define how your trajectory boils out, what your bullet drops, etc. Uh, the two key pieces of information that you need to have to build an accurate drop chart is an accurate ballistic coefficient and a true muzzle velocity. Those two numbers are hard to get a hold of muzzle velocity. Uh, might not be sufficient out of your chronograph. There is some error in chronographs and we need to make sure we've eliminated that. Usually do, we do that by uh, shooting the data and using this trajectory validation feature. Let's assume that you have a good BC and muzzle velocity to start with. I'm going to stick with this 617 BC, that's a 168 Burger VLD uh, in a 7 millimeter. And let's go uh, 3025 for um, muzzle velocity. Uh, that's going to replicate a 7 Remington mag. And altitude, temperature, 5,050, uh, let's do 5,059, that's a standard conditions uh, setup. And scope height, 1.75, that's center line scope to center line of your bore. Zero range, 200, and height, zero. So that's right on at 200 yards. I'm not going to put any incline in because these cards will accommodate for that. So I've put my BC, muzzle velocity, altitude and temperature, and just some simple siding data, what your zero range is. Now to calculate that, you can either click on the drop chart tab or the calculate button and it'll send me over to an actual ballistic calculation of that BC and muzzle velocity for that air density. And uh, there's a couple things you can configure here. You can do different units, whether you want inches, MOA, mils, etc. And you can also do different units on your range increment. So we can calculate 25 yard increments and get uh, a little more resolution on our data. Those settings don't really matter for your small printed field card. If you want to print the whole drop chart, it prints out a big 8.5 by 11 sheet, um, perhaps two sheets to get all the way out to 1,000 yards. What we want is a small card that we can print out, that we can put on the side of our stock or in our backpack or uh, carry in our wallet that tells us what our ballistic correction is. Now we have two different types of these range cards, a simple one and a complete one. Let me show you the simple one first. We're going to set up a range of 1,000 yards and output in MOA. Now that's essentially what all of our scopes are calibrated for, is MOA correction. Uh, generally we have a quarter MOA per click value, so four clicks equals one, o one MOA. We look at these simple card settings. Uh, I'm going to do a large one just to show you the numbers. Let's do 5,000 feet and 59 degrees, or we could do uh, let's do 70 degrees just to change it up a little bit. Now I'm going to preview this and show you what it looks like. I've got a card here. It tells me I'm, I'm a new profile because we didn't save it as a specific name. Uh, 617 BC 3025. Now it tells me down here my wind is represented by W and drop by D. So my wind right here is in minutes of angle because that's the unit we selected. So at 700 yards my wind is 2.9 minutes per angle. Uh, so here we have our incline, zero, and we also have a 10, 20, 30, and 40 degree incline uh, scenario outlined. So a 20 degree shot at 750 yards would be 11.7 minutes of angle. Uh, and we'd have to hold 3.2 minutes for a 10 mile an hour wind. So you can print this in that uh, larger uh, scenario if you have trouble reading small print, or you can uh, do it small so it takes up less space on your gun stock or in your cart. Now, that's just for one air density configuration, and we picked 5,000 feet, 70 degrees. If we do the complete card, you notice it, there's no inputs for altitude and temperature. The complete card uh, builds six different scenarios of air density. So you've got 2,000 foot, 40 degrees through 10,000 foot, 40, and then 2,000 foot, 80 degrees through 10,000 foot, uh, 80 degrees. And that gives you six different air density scenarios 
and it still gives you those five different incline scenarios so that you can pick just about any situation and figure what your drop compensation and wind compensation is going to be. Uh, so fold that up, put it in your backpack, put it in your uh, uh, wallet, and then you've got a real ballistic solution available to you. Uh, the G7 Ballistics program is free to use online, and if you're going to set up and make a card, I want to just recommend that you take it to the range and you practice and you shoot and make sure that the data that you shoot validates with what is on your ballistic card so that if you go hunting, you know and you've proven that it's going to work. Join us next week for more tips here at Long Range Pursuit.